thank you for joining me for this introductory uh, walk around video on the new Honda e, our urban commuter vehicle. And I think you'll agree, the, uh, the striking looks of this vehicle really make you want to get up close and personal with the car. So right the way from the front, you'll see smooth lines and some of the detail, which you have to get really close to actually see on this car, which we will do from the outside before we go inside and, and take a look there, are things like the parking sensors you'd expect to see, but also separate cameras at the front. We'll see some around the sides as well, because there are two grades of Honda E. This is the Advance, so it does have some additional features and a little more uh, PS, a little bit more power as well, which is always nice. But what we're going to do is work our way from the front, round, get to the driver's side, then we'll look inside and we can see some of the technology and have the experience of inside of the vehicle as well. So just up from those different sensors, you'll see below the H badge, there's a little panel. Uh, that is where our radar is. And our radar works in conjunction with the small camera at the top of the screen. And this is part of our Honda Sensing suite of safety features and convenience features as well. Just to expand on one of those, we have intelligent adaptive cruise control. Now, what this will do, it takes regular cruise control, I'm sure we've all experienced, and takes it to the next level. So if you're on a dual carriageway and you set your cruise control to 60 miles an hour, but then somebody pulls out in front of you and slows down to 50. In a traditional system, you'd have to reduce it down, you'd have to cancel it, and we end up not using it. With this system, with the combination of the uh, radar, and the camera, it recognises the cars, the lorries, the vans, the trucks, and it would slow me down to the speed that they're doing, so my 50 miles an hour. When they're cleared, it would take me back up to 60. And I can preset the gap I want, we measure it in seconds, um, but the gap between me and the vehicle in front. Because it uses cameras, we have something called cut-in prediction as well. That will look at the likelihood of cars that are going to pull in front of us, that are going slower than us. That way, the car can actually back off the, uh, the acceleration a little bit, and it's really nice and smooth for everybody inside the car. Just as exactly the same kind of things as you would do when you're you know, driving nice and respectfully for everybody around you. And because this car has no manual uh, gearbox, it can take us all the way down to zero and back up to our 60 miles an hour if the traffic in front actually dictated that. So we have something there called low speed follow, all wrapped up into this, this one package called intelligent adaptive cruise control. As I say, there are many more features within Sensing which are standard on both grades of the new Honda E. So just above the Honda uh, badge, you'll see another little camera and ahead of that, you will see the, the charging lid. So this is where we charge our car up. Now, what do we know about it? Well, we know the car has a range of up to 137 miles and we know that we have a 35 and a half uh, kilowatt hour battery, which is fantastic. But of course, you're going to need to charge them up. So I can simply from my remote, just press and hold a button and it will pop that open. So now I can charge it. What we've done is have it centrally mounted and sort of showcase the charging points. This is because you don't have to worry whether the charge is on the left or on the right, you're always going to be in the right position with ours. Now it can take two types. We have the AC charger where you're just taking electricity from whether it's the supermarket, a petrol station, or your power point at home, and it plugs in, and in a number of hours, depending on the state of charge of the battery, you'll be good to go again with a full charge. However, we do have two sockets on there, and if you're using a DC charger, that will give you a rapid charge. So maybe at the motorway services, something like that. And this is using the charger in the charger at the place you're actually parked up, which means that you can get to an 80% charge in about half an hour. So more time driving, less time charging the car. So I'll just close that down. Then as we, uh, we move up the bonnet, We've, uh, we've gone past the, uh, the LED lighting, we've gone past the cameras. Again, we can now sort of see the, the, the big glass area, the hidden wipers that we have again. And we're starting to see that leading edge of the glass roof because we have a premium car here. So we've got the glass roof on there for you as well. I'm just gonna move my way around the side of the car and you'll notice how really short the overhangs are because when the design team were looking at this car, they thought, where's it going to be used? And they knew it was going to be cities and parking uh, garages and uh, car parks where, you know, maneuverability is really, really important. So we have short overhangs to, to maximize the maneuverability of the car. 
This is actually a rear wheel drive car, which means the front wheels can actually have a bigger turning angle on them. It has the most incredible turning circle. So when you get the opportunity to drive this car, you'll experience that 4.3 meter turning radius. Now, what that means is that when you're driving, you put a full lock on, it feels like you're pivoting from the center of the car. So the usability of this car is tremendous. 16 inch wheels are standard and on the advanced model, you can opt for 17 inch wheels, which is what we have on this car here. Then we're moving down the side of the car and you will see our side camera mirror system. So what does that mean? We don't put door mirrors on. We have a camera system which has less drag, so it's more aerodynamically efficient. But probably as importantly, the image you're going to see is inside the car. So you're not going to get water or dirt on those screens. And the cameras that are on the outside have a special coating to help prevent them, get the water and the dirt sticking to them. So you're gonna get a really good view of what's to the side of you. You can also change the views and the angles like you would do uh, ordinarily. Now, that's fantastic. But at night time and in bad weather is where it really, really comes into its own because you get an even better view of a night time when compared with a traditional door mirror. So we'll show you those when we get inside. Now we're walking past the car and as we walk past, the car will actually recognize that I have the remote control in my pocket. Because I'm stationed right here, I just open it. You will see that the door handles will pop open. So this will now greet me. We have my, my welcoming lights at the front. The door handles are open, ready to get me into the car. Moving around to the back of the car, you can really see those short overhangs. While we're looking at that, we can also see the, uh, the rear wheels here, and we have mentioned it's a rear wheel drive car. 315 newton meters of torque are being delivered from the electromotor through the wheels down to the road. And depending on which grade you go for, you can have up to 154 PS of power. So the car itself is very, very nimble. We have something called flat floor battery technology. That means that the battery is really low uh, down, giving a low center of gravity, and it really helps the handling of the car as well. Added to that, we have independent four wheel suspension as well. So even though this is an urban commuter, the actual way this car handles is absolutely incredible. So now we're at the back, we can see the, the design cues carry all the way through. So at the front, our headlights were in this uh, black section. Now at the rear, we've got the tail lights, again, a very similar black design frame to them. Now, in the rear screen, we have a rear view camera, and this is for part of our center camera mirror system. This is to do away with a traditional mirror, just like we've done on the outside, we have that on the inside. And you won't be able to see the actual camera itself, but it's in the swept part of the rear screen. So again, making sure you've got the best visibility and taking the, the very best opportunity with the technology we have. Now we open the, the tailgate, you'll see we have ample room for this urban commuter and the kind of journeys that we're going to be doing and the usability for this car. Again, easy to load in and out of. In the boot, you'll see the two cables. This comes with the Type 2 cable that you can charge up if you have a charge point at home. The other side is a slow charger. Now we move around to the, the driver's side. Again, you'll see that we, the door handles have popped open for us, on the front doors, that is. And if we want to get into the back, we have a more traditional style in where the quarter light would be at the back. I'll just show you that there as well. Let's get inside the car so we can have a really good look inside and see what technology we've got in there. So please pop into the driver's seat and I'll make my way around the car and pop in the passenger seat. Now we're inside, you get a good feel for the premium materials that have been used, the contemporary design, and you really do understand what the designers were, were thinking and talking about when they wanted to create this, this living room feel. However, it's a little bit nicer than my living room. I have five screens in front of me, very comfortable seats, heated steering wheel. Let me remind you, we're in the advanced grade, so it does have some additional features over the, uh, the other model in the range. Um, we're gonna work from the top and down from the, the screen we see in front of us. The first thing that we'll notice is that we have the center camera mirror system. Now the camera's by the back window, we mentioned that earlier, but what you see here is in the traditional position, so it'll feel absolutely normal and there's going to be really really good visibility you can adjust the views on there should you wish to and if there's two people driving and perhaps one person doesn't like the view through the, uh, the actual the camera system you can literally flick a lever and it reverts to being a traditional mirror-based system but I do like it so I'll leave it up there 
This car has the, uh, the heated front windscreen, which is a really nice feature. So what we've done is we've put heated screen, we've got heated seats and a heated steering wheel. So in those winter months, we're actually heating the bits that need to be warmed so that you feel nice and comfortable in the car and also the windscreen is nice and clear as soon as possible, rather than trying to just heat up the air inside the cabin, which of course we can still do. As we move down, again, we've got really good visibility. We have a flat dash, but the most impressive thing for me as I look forwards are the multiple screens. So on the extremes, the right and the left, we have the screens for our side camera mirror system, and you adjust them like any other car. On the, the driver's panel on the door, you can actually adjust it up, down, left or right, just like any other mirror, but you're gonna get a much better view inside the car. Then we have the, uh, the driver's information, so we can see state of charge of the battery, our range, our speed, things like traffic sign recognition. It'll tell us the, the, the speed sign that we last passed, just to remind us what kind of road we're on. As we move across, we can have things that we'll be used to, like satellite navigation. We can equally have our CarPlay, which is now wireless. Uh, we also have um, Android Auto on this vehicle. You can use Bluetooth audio. You can use USBs to actually have your music played through the USB connector. While we're stationary, we can even use the HDMI input underneath to project whatever we want to on the screen. So that could be checking photos you've taken that day or anything that has an HDMI output, you can actually project on the screen and it will of course come through the speakers on the system as well. Do have to be stationary for that. Now, another nice feature here is that the, the driver and the passenger both have a screen. Now I can see both of those as a, as a driver, but the passenger could set the, the navigation while I was driving and then just literally swap the screens over so that's now for me. And they might have the um, Apple CarPlay in front of them. So again, another really nice feature, level of detail that's on there, as well as the um, a digital owner's manual, that's all on there for us as well. Should we want to find out anything further about the vehicle, it's all on the car itself. So we did mention that we've got heated seats in the front. Obviously we have plenty of room for a couple of passengers in the, the back there as well. And those rear seats will fold down so that we've got even more space uh, in the boot of the vehicle. From a space point of view at the front, we have lots of space here as well because there is no transmission tunnel. So if I wanted to slide across from the driver's side to the passenger side, I can easily do that. And as I was passing by on this advanced model, I can see that I have a three pin plug. So again, I could plug in anything I wanted to. I have up to 1500 watts of accessible power there. And just below that, a little pocket for my uh, smartphone to, to pop into. If I was sat in the back and I was being chauffeured around in this wonderful car, I have the, the lights on the, uh, the roof of the car. They're actually LED, so I just turn those on. And there's a little button just at the base of the B pillar. But again, nice and easy to access. And to keep in with that, that modern feel of the car, LED lighting, even as courtesy lights. Now, there is a lot to talk about on this car and a lot to experience. So we'd really love to you to get first-hand impression of this vehicle. So please contact your local dealer to book an appointment to see this car.